Good morning, I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Good to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. We've got a lot to cover on today's program, so I'm going to get straight to it. Always glad to have Reggie Gray on the program. He's a regular on the program. He's with the Inter- Intercontinental Chamber of Commerce, which, you know, people think of cha- Chamber of Commerce. They have this automatic perception, but the the uh, Inter- Inter- Intercontinental one is really quite extraordinary in all that it does. Reggie, before we get to our guest today, which looks like it's going to be a great one. Why don't you tell us about more about the uh, about the chamber? Uh, well, Kevin, it's great to uh, uh, talk to you again today. And uh, once again, you have the chamber having been around about thirty years. We're international with uh, offices now in uh, fourteen countries. As of tomorrow, actually, my guest and I will be flying out in the morning from Houston to San Salvador, El Salvador, to do a ribbon cutting to open our next office. But uh, we have multiple offices in Houston as well and have large and small businesses uh, where we focus on the members. Very good, very good. Tell us about your guest today. Well, my guest, it's a pleasure that I get to have Morgan Pyle with Willis Towers Watson. And uh, he is uh, one of their, I believe, senior vice presidents who uh, specializes on uh, some of the HR issues and especially uh, medical issues. And, and what we've been focusing on is uh, medical tourism. And, uh, in fact, we're going to be working uh, on a global medical tourism program that ICC and Willis Towers Watson is partnering together on. Well, welcome to the program, Morgan. Why don't you get, kind of give us the elevator speech, if you will, about uh, Willis Towers Watson. Sure. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you, Reggie, for having me on today. Uh, basically, Willis Towers Watson, now we just recently had merged in January to become the global leader in healthcare and benefit consulting uh, in the world. So um, partnering with the International Chamber of Commerce has been an absolute um, essential for us. Very good. Your first question, Reggie. Yeah, Morgan, uh, just just real quick, you know, I, I like to ask all my guests this, but why did uh, Willis Towers Watson uh, invest as a member and, and want to partner with ICC? Well, we, we, we believe, you know, because we are we have global reach and we work in almost every single country there is, that, um, you know, being just in a regular chamber, we'd be involved with the local and, and, and the local area community, but being able to join the international chamber has really opened our our opportunities within the current area, but the International Chamber has really been able to connect us with uh, other business leaders in different countries. Okay. And and if if you don't mind, what you can go over, what are some of the programs that you can mention that um, Willis Towers Watson has been uh, focused on right now or that you see coming in the future with with this great merger that's happened? Well, the first one that you mentioned is the medical tourism piece. We are being able to basically finally put some the technology and the experience in place uh, to allow employers to take advantage of medical services, whether it be domestically or internationally, um, to save money on health care. As we know how expensive health care is getting, um, this seems to be a very hot topic with large multinational employers, and um, it's been great to be able to partner with somebody like you that has the contacts with these employers that are looking for solutions to save money. Let me ask you in that same vein, Morgan, you know, you mentioned, uh, you know, it sounds like you do a lot with enterprise level size companies, probably some of the mid market as well. Kind of give us a panoramic scope of the type, both the, both the verticals and the sizes of the businesses you generally work with. Well, I typically work with uh, employers, probably 2000 employees and up. Now, for this program, I mean, any employer that is self-funded, and we have seen employers down to even 100 lives that are able to uh, shift their risk and become self-funded when it comes to their health care, are able to implement these kinds of programs uh, as long as they have the right consultants and, you know, are willing to spend some money uh, to do it correctly. Yeah. Very good. Reggie? Yeah. And I, I believe we won't necessarily get into the detail unless, of course, Morgan wants to, but I think we're up to about five or six countries now that we are collaborating with here at ICC and with uh, Willis Towers Watson on, on this medical tourism program, and we hope to expand it more. But, uh, Morgan, if you don't mind, for some of the listeners that we have, uh, as I'm finding engaging more and more with you, um, WTW has a lot of different services. Could you could you give a little more? Sure. Um, I explain mean, a little bit? 
other than more than what every everyone's used to, their current services and you know shopping the insurance. That's typical from almost any consultant or broker. But what I think we what we do and bring to the table is how can we be proactive, innovative to save our clients money and actively manage the healthcare risk. And we do that with having several different programs, one of them being the medical tourism one that we've mentioned earlier, but others is being able to look at, for example, the pharmacy benefit management spend on their pharmacy spend. And what we're able to do is go in and see, find illegal spreads that are going on between the pharmacy and the PBM, and we can go in and stop that. And lately, we're finding anywhere from 22 to 40% savings on the RX spend for an employer. Without changing wow. anything. So we're not changing the plan design. We're not changing the drug, what kind of drugs are being filled. We're, pro, we're pretty much finding and stopping the fraud that's going on in healthcare. And there's a lot of it. And I'll give you one more example. Um, uh, reviewing hospital bills from a compliance review perspective. So we're not going in. We're looking at a large hospital bill. And we're not arguing the price of the hospital bill. And we're not arguing the discounts that are applied. But what we're able to do is go in and request an itemized copy of that bill as well and go through the bill and be able to tell if the bill is fraudulent or not. And typically, 8 out of 10 hospital bills will find multiple um, overcharges that should not have been in in the bill in the first place. That's incredible. It doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, It almost seems like smoke and mirrors with all the different uh, hands involved in the billing, you know, when you look at insurance and all the different factors. You got it. I mean, basically, we're, we're catching the hand in the cookie jars and stopping stopping that. You know, I think most employers will tell you they've done in the last five years, they've done everything they can to try to save money and uh, change trends in spending, and there's nothing left. I mean, on most of these employees that are running around with $5,000 deductibles and up, um, there's not much left for CEOs and CFOs to do, but to really manage and get understand what's going on in their health plan and have someone that could go in there and really make sure that everything's correct and being paid the way it should be. Yeah, very good. Reggie? Uh, yeah, and, and Morgan, how many countries now is uh, Willis Towers Watson in? We're in over 120 countries and with over 39,000 uh, employees across the, the world. Okay, and, and where do you see some potential growing markets for your industry or for the healthcare industry with this medical tourism program that, that you would want to expand on? Well, we know that there's a, a huge interest in Canada and the United States for medical travel. But uh, actually, in the Middle East, um, there is a lot of um, interest because a lot of these countries have changed their healthcare laws where they're now uh, requiring employers to carry health insurance, just like we do here in the United States. So because of that, uh, costs are, are a concern. And then a quick example is Saudi Arabia. Um, they spend about $4 billion a year for outbound. So they already are, are having their, their, their people leave their country, and they're still spending $4 billion for that. But there's no, there's no, it's not being managed correctly. There's no system or program in place to help manage that for them. So you're going to have countries like that and those employers that are going to look at it and say, look, we're, we have this situation, we're spending a lot of money, but it's, no one's helping us do this. And, you know, there can be a lot of savings uh, reached by being able to partner with these countries to manage these patients that are going uh, overseas and spending who knows what kind of money uh, because they're going anywhere they want and not realizing how the health care systems work in every country. Uh, you know, it's all about how much money can they bill and receive. Yeah, with that, we're going to have to start wrapping it up. Willis Towers Watson is the website. It's Willis, W-I-L-L-I-S, Towers, that's T-O-W-E-R-S, Watson, W-A-T-S-O-N.com. And then, of course, Reggie, why don't you wrap up uh, just with a few se- seconds uh, with a little more information about, the, uh, about what you do there at the Chamber and give your website as well. Well, our website is at www.houstonicc.org, and uh, we continue to expand internationally, but as well in Houston. We're getting ready to open the Woodlands office. We have a launch May 19th in the Woodlands, and then, of course, we're getting ready to announce, I guess I am now, the uh, Stafford office will be opening this summer as well. So that will have us four locations in Houston alone to better serve 
our different members throughout the Houston area, and then, of course, our multiple locations internationally as we continue to grow and expand with great companies like Willis Towers Watson and as we continue to grow our partner relationships like last week you heard from the country of Malta, and we have a few other of our country guests that will be coming in the weeks ahead. Thanks so much for being with us. Great segment as usual. And when we come back, we're going to have more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter.